What's up out there, YouTube? Double D here with Tournage Dubois. Welcome back. Today will not be a wood turning video, so if that's what you're wanting to watch, I apologize. Uh, today we're going to do a lathe maintenance video. So I've got to replace the belt on my Jet 1642 EV, uh, which is a 240 volt system. And then I'm going to replace the switch as well. The switch has become a little finicky in that sometimes it doesn't want to come on when I ask it to. So we're going to replace both of those, do a little walkthrough on how to do that, and we'll show you how to do that in case you have this lathe and need to do that for yourself at some point. So let's get started. So some of the main tools we'll be using today are going to be this five millimeter uh, hex head bit, a three millimeter, and then a five thirty second, five thirty second bit. Um, and that'll take out a lot of these screws so we can remove the digital readout. Want to be careful on the back of this there is a an optical eye that reads the rpm uh, on the headstock so we want to be careful of that we're going to need to be able to open this to take this out to replace the switch and then also uh, start taking apart back here on the hand wheel uh, so we'll get set up and get going with all that Now before I get into any of this, I'm going to unplug everything. We don't want it to accidentally come on or anything like that, so safety is paramount. So if you're going to work on your lathe or any other heavy equipment, make sure you unplug everything. Like I said, this has the, the back of this has the optical eye, so just be very careful with it. You don't want to get any dirt or anything on that or else the RPMs won't read properly. Now, as you can see, my belt is splitting. This is why we need to replace it. We've got some of the bands coming through it, uh, but it's a solid piece that goes all the way through. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off the hand wheel on the back, and uh, that way we'll be able to knock this forward and be able to get the belt off. So what we have is we have these two uh, hex heads. That's what holds the, the hand wheel onto the spindle, and then we'll also want to get the spindle piece undone as well. This one is the larger five millimeter. So I'm just gonna back this hex head out until it's pretty much flush with the edge and do the same on this one. That should allow the hand wheel to be removed just like that. Now, in the event that that sticks a little bit, you can always use the spindle lock to keep it locked in place and then be able to twist it off, but it should come off relatively easily. So the important thing is this raised section is going to go against that. It just threads on, so remember that when you go to put it back together. Now one thing I am going to do is I'm going to break these bolts free so that I can take them out and that will allow the spindle headstock to, or the spindle to move further out to get the belt easier. So I got the first one broken free. Once it's broke free, then you can loosen it by hand pretty easily. And we'll just rotate it and get the next one off. And I'm using a half inch socket. So now that I have those, we should be able to just knock this right on out of the way. And using the rubber mallet, just tap on the back end. And that gets us out far enough, as you can see back here, to be able to get the belt over the end of that tailstock and out. So, we'll just take our new belt and put it right on there. And put the headstock spindle right back through use the mallet to tap it in then we will reverse everything the way we did it taking it apart so we'll put the bolts back in
we want to make sure we tighten all those up with the socket so that they don't come flying out. So now that we are done there, we'll just go ahead and put this back in before we put everything else back on the outside. So once again, the raised part of this goes towards the headstock and we're gonna screw that in. And that's going to push this other sealed bearing further back in where it needs to be. And we'll put the hand wheel back on and these two will tighten back down into this groove to hold it in place. And now we will do the switch. Now on this one, the blue wire goes to the one and the yellow wire goes to the two. So I definitely want to remember that as I'm putting it back together. It's this little metal tab. It holds it on, so you just pop that, comes right off. And just to make sure there's not something going on with this part, which I don't think there is, but I'm just gonna replace that whole mechanism as well, just to avoid any possible issues. Plus the kit that I, the one I got came with everything, so as you can see, there's this little tab down here, which is the actual switch part. So that comes along this bottom side and then this part, as it moves in and out, actually triggers the switch. Got to put the ring on here first to hold it tight. Rotate it around the way it was to start, the same orientation. Actually, looks like this piece goes on this other side. So let's try that, see if it goes together a little bit easier. Hey, look at that, it snapped right together. Helps if you have things lined up the way they need to be lined up. So we're just gonna tighten up this ring and then uh, attach these wires. So the blue goes to the one side like we had before. Yellow to the two. Make sure the wires don't come out too easily. And we're gonna put this right back together. So now we're going to plug the lathe back in.
works. Hey everybody, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that. I know it's not wood turning, but it allows me to get back to wood turning. So that's the important thing. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. If this is your first time here, please do consider subscribing. Please leave your comments and feedback down below as I hope to be able to make some more videos like this down the road if that's something that interests you and I can help out in some sort of a way. So I learned a lot in this process. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this. Um, I will put a link to a couple of the videos I watched down below just to kind of familiarize myself. And then it's a little bit of trial and error as I'm going through identifying what needed to be done. So I appreciate you taking the time to watch this and we'll catch you all next time.